Hi there, Russ here from the Success Crew here at Zeppelin. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Slack integration, how to get that set up, how to change the preferences, and how that will look in Slack. So the Slack integration that we're going to set up is on the project that I've been working on. As I'm looking at the uh, screens dashboard on the right hand side, you'll notice that we have integrations. The first one I'm going to select here is Slack. That will open up a window for you to connect it to your Slack uh, workspace. I'm selecting my Game of Thrones workspace. And as we scroll down, what we have is the opportunity to select which channel we want all of our updates to go into. So I'm working on the travel app. So I'm going to select the My Travel App channel within my Slack workspace and click Allow there. So that's gone and set that up. Now, anytime we make changes to this project, uh, this style guide on this project, it will add the updates to the Slack channel. You can actually add multiple uh, Slack integrations. So I could add another one here if I wanted to send some updates to perhaps a design team and a, another set of updates to a dev team. You can add multiple uh, Slack integrations. Now I'm going to jump over into my web browser here just to show you how we can change some of the preferences. This can only be done in the web app. So I'm going to go into my travel website and you'll see on the right hand side that we have the uh, Slack integration set up. If I refresh that there, you'll see that that's been uh, added and you'll notice the preferences icon on the right hand side. If I click on that, just uh, towards the bottom, you have the preferences link. And these are all of the updates which will push through to the Slack channel. Now to avoid all the noise and perhaps some spam, you might decide to switch some things off or maybe switch them off depending on how specific you want the updates to be for that channel. Again, you might have some for design, some for dev, and actually the, uh, the dev team don't really care if new screens have been updated or new versions perhaps. So just by selecting or deselecting those checkboxes there, you can make the changes to what appears in that. Now, if I was to jump into Slack, you'll uh, see here that I've actually had a notification to say that I have added an integration to this channel. Uh, previous to this, you'll see that there are a number of other updates. Uh, a couple of my colleagues here have been commenting on some of the screens that they've been working on, and those have flowed through to this. You'll see any time that uh, there's been a change, in a previous video, we looked at how to change the copy and upload a new version. And so the commit message also comes through. So any of the changes that you've selected with the preferences in the web app will now be visible in uh, Slack. And as I say, that can be set up on either the desktop app or the web app.